Um, well, just to stay focused every pitch, kind of anticipate uh, you know, where the ball is going to be and if I need to back somebody up or you know what exactly I'm going to do with the ball once I get it. Absolutely. How competitive are you with uh, Ruiz? Um, it, it's good competition. You know, we're constantly pushing each other on the bases and uh, at the plate, um, and it makes us work harder. You know, so we're getting a lot better. It's been a, been a couple of tough games for you guys in a row here. Um, how do you make sure that you uh, keep on, keep competing uh, when the results aren't going your way? Uh, you have to find ways to stay positive. You know, um, if you just focus on the negative, this game will eat you up. So uh, we, we've run into a little bit of bad luck, you know, but we are still competing, and uh, that is the positive. So we got to keep our heads up and keep on playing hard. You've been doing uh, really good at the plate. Can you tell me, how do you stay in focus? Uh, just keeping everything simple. Um, I can't stress that enough. Just my approach and my swing, keeping it simple, staying confident. And that's why. I, Starting to have success, I guess. That and a little bit of luck. <laughs> always got, always have to have the luck. You guys came back from three runs down today. Obviously, you were in the middle of a couple of the rallies there. How important is it for this team to keep fighting when you fall behind early? Yeah, I mean, game's nine innings, uh, and it only takes one inning to to bust it wide open. So you just have to keep competing and keep trying to scrap some runs, get some momentum going. Just a, a hanging changeup that. Uh, a really good power hitter took advantage of and um, did what he's pretty much been doing all all season. Hernandez is a is a good power hitter and um, that's not the first time he's done that obviously but um, you make a mistake against a good hitter like that and you know, they'll make you pay. How uh, how frustrating have these last two nights been? I mean you guys have, have played well enough to, to win the game and not be able to, to pull them out. How frustrating can that be for a young team? Um, yeah like these guys want to win every single game they go out there but they competed well today um, things just didn't go our way, and we just have to move on to tomorrow. What, uh, what's kind of your message to them? I mean, you guys, you guys obviously had, had gotten used to winning coming into this series, and now you've dropped three straight, but it's to the best team in the league who's obviously playing good baseball too. So I guess what's your message to these guys as, as they've lost a few straight here? Um, we competed well. Um, things didn't go our way, and we got to get ready for tomorrow. You had uh, a couple guys making their tin caps debuts out there today, and, Ke and Kelvin and uh, Dylan. What did the, mm -hmm. what did you see from them? Yeah, like I know Melian pretty well. He's been in the organization for a while now, and I've seen him since he was well, he's still a young kid, but when he was a, a newcomer. Um, and he's a true professional, you know, very sound defensively. He made that nice play uh, late in the game right there to to save a run and. Um, we'll put together some competitive ABs, and he spent the majority of the year now in, in Lake Elsinore, and was around that group of guys, which I think is going to help him, um, especially with this group. It's just kind of showing them like how to go about your day and teach them little things that he learned up there. And then with Dylan's case, you know, um, comes out of the fourth round of this year's draft, Missouri State kid, and uh, we knew he had a big arm, um, but this was the first time me seeing him. I thought he he threw well. Um, I think. Just getting some games under his belt uh, in this environment will be good for him, and um, look forward to seeing him like down the road. Uh, can, you, oh, go ahead, Randy. Uh, can you tell me how have you uh, dealt with uh, shuffling the pitchers since uh, Bushley got called up? Bowshley. Bowshley. Um, yeah, like that right there. Um, most likely will be a temporary thing. You know, like in minor league baseball, sometimes you got to get people to go in and and fill in spots and, and do things like that. Um, so most likely um, we'll see what happens. He'll go up there, he'll pitch, hopefully he does well. And you know, when the Padres call me and tell me what's going to happen, either he stays or he comes back, we'll be ready for him or wish him well. Obviously, um, Mark Abbott just got the call up. Um, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on just what he was able to do in the, in the few months that he spent here and, and what, he was, uh, what he accomplished for your ball club? Yeah, he was tremendous. You know, um, as consistent as could be, giving us like deep outings, um, e eating up innings for us, and then pitching well um, with that, you know, striking out people. He was up at the top of the list in strikeouts and just the way he went about his business, you know, like I got to see these guys, I get to see these guys every day and how they prepare themselves. And Nick was probably one of the best in terms of being religious with his routine, um, sticking to it no matter what. And then when he gets out there, like the competitor that he was, um, you know, developed into the pitcher that we saw. Um, and. He deserves the promotion. You know, he's going to mix well with that group up there. Um, and we wish him all the best going forward. When you're trying to teach these young guys those, those work habits and, and how to be a professional, how nice is it to have an example like Nick that 
you know, when you do things the right way, you will get that promotion eventually. Yeah, hopefully they're paying attention. You know, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. These guys are trying to, to learn about themselves. Um, so, you know, one good thing to do is to watch the older guys around you, you know, and um, Nick obviously was, a, a, was one to watch, but, you know, we want to see if these guys picked up anything, and I'm sure they did, you know, like, being consistent with the routine is the biggest thing and, and not shying away from it when things aren't going your way is being able to be consistent every single day. Uh, can you tell me what are the key suggestions recent success? Who's? Justin? Justin? Jason? Jason. Rosario. Oh, Jason Rosario. Rosario. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, no, he, he's been pretty successful all year. You know, he's had a little bit of a, of a slump lately, but has turned it on obviously in the last three games and um, he's just that type of talent where you're going to go through your ups and downs as a, as a baseball player, um, but it's how quickly you can get out of it. And um, he's very stubborn, you know, like in his zone at the plate, which allows him to take better swings and, and make more contact with pitches. And sometimes things don't go your way, but if you stick to the process and, and be stubborn like he is when he's up at the plate, you know, you'll find your groove again and find your rhythm. And he's reaping the benefits of it right now. Okay. And can you mm -hmm. tell me what do you see from Podorsky in the outfield? Um, speed, speed, and more speed. Obviously, like he's a burner. Um, like his whole game, he's able to to change the game with his legs um, in the outfield and at the plate and um, on the base paths. You know, and um, defensively, he can cover a lot of ground with him and Rosario out there. And even when Jack and Tierso, like they can do some special things. Um, you see them fighting over balls and, and getting to things that other guys usually don't. And um, we're glad that he's on our side because he creates havoc. Like no, no matter where he's at. How important is it to be able to try to get this one tomorrow to get some of those good vibes going back on the road? It's very important. Um, you know, we, we want to win every single game. We want to be able to go out there and compete, and we are competing right now. We're just not picking up the result that we want. Um, but just like we've turned it around the start of this second half, you know, we can turn it around at any time. We just got to be ready to go tomorrow.